So hi out there in Diamond Painting Land. This is Tina Fraser coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Thursday, April 18th at approximately 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you today with a diamond painting um, update for you. Um, I have to pet my dog Rosie. She's down here on the floor next to my feet. I think she wants to go out, but um, we'll go out after a little bit. But anyway, so um, I had placed an order on... Um, one of the Facebook groups that I'm on for cross stitch, um, Garon Toten Bags, they do um, cross stitch project bags. And um, so, my diamond painting <coughs> light pad that I use for my diamond painting, um, I don't have a way to store it. And the thin foam, soft foam sleeve that it came in has been ripping to shreds recently and I have no no way to store it no way to carry it and everything like that and I've been asking around to see if anybody can make me a custom project bag for my diamond painting light pad and nobody has so bear with me just a minute I'm actually gonna grab my light pad and I will show you what I got hold on just a minute so anyway as I was saying um my Gaumon um I think this is an A4 light pad that I use. It's by um, Gaomon. We got it off of Amazon um, like uh, over a year ago now. My husband had originally ordered it. Actually, it's been close to two years now. Um, but my husband had originally ordered it because he was wanting to start drawing and he wanted a tracing board, a tracing light board to use for his drawing. So he went ahead and ordered it about the same time that I was getting in my first couple of diamond paintings. And I'm like, well, that's really sweet. I can use it when he's not tra using it for tracing and um, drawing, and I can use it for my diamond paintings. So this was actually a light board that my husband had picked out. He had done some research online. Again, it's by the company Gaomon. And this is um, model number GB4. You can see it there. It says GB4. Um, <clears throat> but he had ordered it on Amazon and got it in. Well, um, I was keeping it in the foam sleeve that it comes in and the foam sleeve has just been deteriorating like forever. I never keep it plugged in, um, because I use this on my cross stitch floor frame that I also use for cross stitch. And I don't keep any of my diamond paintings out and up waiting to be diamond painted because we have six cats and a dog or five cats and a dog now and um there's just too much chance of it getting sat on stepped on uh, dusty with hair cat hair all kinds of stuff can get on it and um so i was looking i've been looking Uh, so sorry about that. Um, apparently my video stopped or cut off or paused at a certain point and I didn't get to um, finish the video for you. <coughs> so while I was thought I was recording, I had actually opened up my Garon Toten bag shipment. I'm just going to show you the um, empty bag. And um, here is the inside cover bag for my, um, my shipment that I got in today. So I'm just going to show you this now. This has my light pad in it already. This is the Garon Toten Bags 12 by 18 bag. And this is the project bag, one of the project bags sizes that they sell on the Garon Toten Bags Facebook group. So I had originally reached out to them to ask if they did custom bags. And they said no. They have too many, um, too many sewing projects going on with the two sizes of bags and the grime guards that they offer. Um, that they don't have the ability really to make any customs because they buy their fabric based on um, how many bags they can get out of it. So they don't have um, leeway right now to make any custom bags. So I already had one of their bags on hand and I happened to decide one night to check it out and it fit in the project bag that I had on hand. So I went ahead and ordered the Easter one just because it's Easter week and I ordered it I think Monday night and I got it in tonight. So no, I ordered it Sunday night, paid for it Sunday, got it in tonight. Um, <coughs> so I now have a bag to store my um, light pad. So it has Velcro closure, really purple, really pretty purple inside. You can see my light pads in there. So it, it has my light pad in it. 
And then I they also have these small five five inch by nine inch notions bags that they also offer for sale. These notion bags are nine dollars. I believe these big ones, these big uh, project bags are twenty five. So you can get matching matching little notion bags. So in my notions bag here, I have the cable that goes with my diamond painting light pad. So if you're looking for storage options for your um, diamond painting light pads, if you don't keep them plugged in all the time like I do, head over to Garon Toten Bags Facebook page and um, sign up. Um, ask to be ask to be signed up and you will get notified when they put some up for sale. Um, they usually put some up for sale qu quite often. Um, and they normally sell these to cross stitchers as project bags. Um, this is the third one of theirs that I own now. And this is temporarily going to be housing my diamond painting light pad, as you can see. So again, here's my Gail Munn diamond painting light pad. Here is my Garon Toten Bag project bag, 12 by 18 size. And as you can see, it fits. It fits right in there with a little extra room, with a little extra room to spare. With a little extra room to spare. And then the Notions bag with the cable goes right inside. And then you just flip it close and Velcro it. And there you go. Now my light pad is um, ready for storage when I'm not using it. And away we go. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you get something out of this. Um, go over to the Garon Toten Bags Facebook page and um, sign up and get notified when they put some project bags up for sale if you're looking for anything for your diamond painting. Um, they have another size. It's basically like a 12 by 12 size, which might be good if you're looking for just a bag to stick um, some of your tools in as well. Now there's... Um, theirs only has the Velcro in the middle. It doesn't have a closure all the way across. So if you're looking for something to store your diamond painting pens, you know, um, they don't have zippers on these. So um, you may need to look for other options if you're looking for a bag for your diamond painting pens. But there you go. Garon Toten Bags, here is their information. That's how they're spelled. So you can look for them on Facebook and uh, give them a shot. All right. Thanks, guys. That's all I have for you tonight. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.